made every mob into Pokemon in Minecraft. Like this pig right here that I turned into Jigglypuff. We'll first turn this witch into Mewtwo. We can start with texturing on a base layer. Now let's get Mewtwo's head features just right. Tilt the head back to get the correct posture. Pull these legs apart to connect them at the side of the hips. Now, the long feet with a couple toes. Then Mewtwo has thinner, longer arms with three distinct fingers. And we have to get the iconic Mewtwo tail right. Now just texture on a few primary colors. Mewtwo is looking absolutely spectacular. Down to the flesh tube that goes from his head to his back. And he's up in the air now? But I do have myself a sneaky suspicion. In a Pokemon world, of course Team Rocket's gonna appear. James, Jesse, just back off, all right? Wait, they've actually frozen him in the air though. No, Mewtwo, resist. Oh boy, they've added a mind control device to the top of his head. It's okay, we can fix this. Let's use this gas tier and turn it into Charizard. Slap on some Charizard orange first. Grab this body, shrink it down, and we'll use it for Charizard's head. And make sure we got the dual horns on there. Then build the neck down, torso, and arms, three fingers, short legs. Now Charizard's tail needs to be perfect. Massive wings. Then we just shape and texture the wings. We have got Charizard in Minecraft. And because we use the gas base, he looks a little bit stiff. Our buddy could probably use a chiropractor. The wings on Charizard look amazing. That flame, spicy. Charizard, stay here. I've got the perfect Pokemon to help you out. Let's turn this drowned into Squirtle. Pull him apart. And Squirtle's chest is going to be a little bit thicker and a little bit rounder. Slide on some teeny legs. Slide on some teeny arms. Pop on Squirtle's brain. Now we can pull a tail out of here. And now we can finally start texturing Squirtle's shell. And Squirtle's eyes definitely sit more towards the top of his head. That's what I'm talking about. Squirtle and Charizard together. This is the perfect duo. The way Squirtle walks around with his hands in the air, though, he looks a little feisty. Let's pull in a couple husks. Squirtle takes the first shot with a water gun here. Charizard is throwing pillars of flame. The arena that we're in right now is being destroyed. Only one left already. But wait, Mewtwo has actually came back. Squirtle is firing his water gun, landing some serious damage onto Mewtwo. Charizard keeping his distance and Firing the pillars of flame. That's what I'm talking about. Squirtle's taking a few hits. Mewtwo is getting awfully low, though. Squirtle's taking center stage. I imagine trying to keep himself from getting cornered against the arena. But Squirtle gets knocked out of the battle. That's not good. Please, Charizard, I'm rooting you on. No! How do you respond like that? We're gonna need a new arena and some new Pokemon. Let's go ahead and try and remake this wolf into Lucario. First, we can paint on some very basic blue. Blue, slip this head off and move it up. Now we'll try to verticalize this chest a bit. Toss on some limbs for legs and arms. And we need to add the four black sensory bundles on the back of Lucario's head. Oh, and Lucario is notable for having much redder eyes. Inside our brand new Coliseum. And Lucario is looking good. The sensory bundles on the back of his head, fantastic. We've given Lucario the Aura Sphere. Watch the launch take off another aura sphere the doom and glory lucario that is exactly what i'm talking about if we just keep up this trend mewtwo doesn't last a chance let's turn this phantom into dragapult we can just try and start with a neutral texture drop the body and start from the head and we'll build it into its traditional triangular shape Pull on the base for four hollow horns. Then we'll start building out the body for Dragapult's long tail, which we definitely need to get textured blue. Now red texturing on the head, overlapping a little bit on the horns and Dragapult's thin yellow eyes. And there we have Dragapult, the reveal of his tail right into the sky. For the transparent tail, we ended up just choosing to go with the white there. To make it pop, it looks like he's giving them a chance to get away, but before they can, he starts shooting them down. Three wax and the husk gets knocked. The ability to take down Mewtwo is gonna be the real test. We'll use this iron golem and make Ursa ring. First off, we could just start with the fur brown. Widen this golem core to make it far more tubby. Thicken up these arms to match Ursa ring. Attach the sharp claws. Yank out a snout right here. And I definitely need to match the shoulders exactly perfectly. A couple eye sockets are needed. Ah, and of course, 
course, we can't miss Ursa Ring's belly. The Iron Golem has absolutely disappeared into Ursa Ring, and the pure size is intimidating even to just stand up against. Though Ursa Ring's ability might be extremely simple, it's accurate. Look at this big boy already on the launch. The initial strength he already has as the Iron Golem is significant, but in addition to that, he also has a slash attack. He can use his claws. You can even see their guts released into the sand. Gruesome. I just need you to do that exact same thing from you two. Let's try to start with a chicken and make Mimikyu. First, we've got to have the Mimikyu texture rip off this chicken head and pull the nose away, round things out a bit for Mimikyu's head, and we have to clip on the long ears. Wide to a more slender section here. Now we need Mimikyu's jagged tail, two completely different sized eyes here, and texture the tail the authentic brown color. Even though Mimikyu is stuck to the ground, the ghost type features really shine through. Those eyes, rosy cheeks, floppy sided head, and those ears. The only thing still makes a chicken noise. Check out this super unique ability that we've given to Mimikyu. A shadow particle attack down, up, bang. There you see it. There goes the husk. This husk has one final hit and then you are dead. I think I want to make one of my favorite Pokemon. Also one of the fluffiest. We can remake this cat into Eevee. Start with a similar base brown, just like Ursa Ring. Pull away just a couple bits. Now we need to make this cat head quite a bit larger. And we also have some big, long pokey ears for Eevee. We could use the cat chest to remake into a fluffy ruff around the neck. A few tiny feet, and Eevee has a far bushier tail. Then we'll just texture out a few of these details. The fluff around Eevee's neck turned out great. The tail turned out fantastic. Similar to Ursa Ring, though, Eevee has a simple attack, but a genuinely authentic attack. The charge instantly straight to the husk, and it's a multi-dash slash attack and takes him from all angles. Also, frequency of hits is much greater than some of the models before, which means Eevee could be extremely extremely deadly, but I want this fight against Mewtwo to be absolutely overwhelming. Let's remake this guardian into Onyx. We've got the right style, but retexture it to stone. Starting with Onyx's head first, we'll build the general shape here. Oh, and of course we can't miss the horn right on top. Then we'll start with the other boulders to build out this rock snake, and we could use a shadowing texture effect to make the boulder super realistic. The rock snake himself with the shape Taking tail actually looks pretty intimidating, but the authenticity of Onyx is in his abilities. First thing that Onyx is going to decide to do is dig straight into the ground to disappear before popping up to attack, which could be the perfect sneak attack. There's just two more Pokemon we really need. We'll see if we can remake this rabbit here into Fido. Disperse these body parts a bit. Tubby doe-like face to start. And Fido also has two tiny little eyebrows. And we need the large doe-like ears. Which I have absolutely no idea how you hear anything out of those. Pull on a little bloated body. Short stubby legs. And one round tubby tail. And Fido has the most innocent looking eyes. Fido looks amazing. We might not even want this guy to go to battle. We could just keep him for ourselves. The rabbit base makes the movements of Fido look so adorable. But we can't have Fido being the weak one of the group. So I gave Fido the ability to launch a heart kiss. Look at those heart projectiles. They steal health from the mob and give it back to Fido. A whack on that husk. Back to a whack on this husk. Fido doesn't like you at all. There's just one more Pokemon to make. Now we gotta have Detective Pikachu and we're gonna start with a fox. Of course, we're gonna need yellow. We can start shifting this fox up right now. Two furry Pikachu ears. Now we can build the base for what will be Detective Pikachu's hat. One furry Pikachu body and tiny Pikachu arms. And Pikachu has little feet, but we have to get them just right. The iconic Pikachu tail. And of course, Pikachu's rosy 
cheeks. Detective Pikachu is on the case. The texturing on the hat looks super authentic, actually. And look at that sprint. Of course, it's Pikachu. So we had to equip him with the Thunder Shock and the Volt Attack. Look at that damage. Another smacker over there. And there goes the third. And Detective Pikachu even went to go collect the flesh. It's time that we take these Pokemon back to Mewtwo. Detective Pikachu, Dragapult, Ursa Ring, Lucario, Fido, Onyx, Eevee, and of course, Mimikyu. And they all race in instantly. Ursa Ring took the close up shot. Mimikyu's attack hit from the back right there. Onyx also just zipping around, digs down. Can the ability hit though? It can. Ursa Ring is not letting Mewtwo get away. And Mimikyu keeps tracking from the upper ground now. Lucario shooting from below. Mewtwo well below a half health at this point, but unfortunately, Onyx takes the L. Ursa Ring looks angry about that one, cornering Mewtwo into a section of the arena, but Ursa Ring unfortunately gets wiped. Dragapult still able to land almost any ability that he's sending out. There's no possible way Mewtwo pulls this off. This is going to be destruction and glory right there. The final hit coming from Detective Pikachu, the most impressive battle we've seen by far.